Hello there, it's Andy Ewans from FormerServe once again. Welcome to this How To and IBMI video set where we'll be exploring the process of running the open source package PM2. One common question we often receive from our customers regarding open source is how to automate the execution of their applications and projects. Fortunately, we have a solution. Run PM2 on IBM I. In this video, I will demonstrate just how simple it is to use and set up PM2 for your open source applications. And ting ting. By subscribing to our channel, you ensure that you receive notifications about future videos in this series. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you appreciate the time and the effort we put into producing this video, you can show your support by buying me a coffee. Now, let's dive straight into the contents of this video. PM2 offers several key features that make it a popular choice for managing and running applications. Here are some bullet points highlighting the key features of PM2. Process Management PM2 provides process management capabilities, allowing you to easily start, stop, restart and monitor your applications. It can handle application crashes and automatically restart them, ensuring high availability. Automatic load balancing. PM2 supports automatic load balancing across multiple instances of your application. It can distribute the incoming traffic evenly amongst the running hardware instances, improving the performance and scalability of your application. Zero downtime deployment. With PM2, you can achieve zero downtime deployment. It allows you to seamlessly deploy new versions of your application without interrupting the ongoing requests, ensuring a smooth user experience. Startup script generation. PM2 can generate startup scripts for your application, making it easy to ensure that your applications start automatically upon system reboots. It simplifies the management of your application's lifecycle runtime. Log management. PM2 provides built-in log management, allowing you to conveniently monitor and analyze the logs generated by your application. It helps in troubleshooting and debugging issues effectively. CPU and memory monitoring. PM2 offers CPU and memory monitoring, giving you the insights into the resource usage of your application. You can track the performance metrics and optimize resource allocation accordingly. These are some of the key features of PM2 that make it a powerful and convenient tool for, manage, for managing and running applications in an efficient and reliable manner. Now we've got that out of the way, let me show you how to use it. Let me open the shell session on my power box. Ain't that banner lovely? Check out my SSH banner video to see how it's done. On to the first demo. How do we install PM2 on our IBM i? It's not part of open source package management in ACS. We have to use NPM, no package manager. See my video on NPM if you're not confident with this product. It is very easy to use. To install PM2, we run the command npm install minus g pm2. We can just type the i instead of the install if you want and the minus g parameter is the global option. It will install pm2 for all users, just what we want. I already have pm2 installed on our box as we use it all the time here. My version shows 5.3.0. As of August 2023, Version 5.3 is the latest. Let me move on to monitoring. One of the most popular commands with PM2 is the list command. This will show the status of your PM2 applications. PM2 LS or PM2 list, both the same. Here we can see on my box, we got half a dozen or so applications that are up in and running now. Here you can see their name, their version. We can see how many days or minutes these applications have been running, this status, etc, etc. There is another command for monitoring that gives us even more details. It's the PM2 
monitor command. This is very handy for looking at the logs. You select the application and the log details will appear in the right hand pane. We can see here the HTTP methods, a couple of gets and a post. Somebody must have been running an update. A control C will exit the monitoring. Starting a new application is easy. PM2 start and the directory where our application lives. Slash F underscore weather slash bin slash www. It's a node express application and that's our program that starts it. Now it's started, we can see the new application is up and running. Let me take a quick look at Monit, see if we've got anything in the logs. I'll come down to application number seven and fire up the application. So fire up Edge, see if it started. Put the name of our box here, go that's here. And this application is running on port 3111. Nice and easy. Ah, that looks good. So, where are we today, Andy? We're in London. Hello, N D O N. And there it goes. Nice and easy. It started our application and we can use it. All down to PM2. And back to PM2, where we can see the logs for this application. Running good. Moving on to some of the other things we can do with PM2. First one we're going to show you is the stop command. We just type PM2 stop 7. This is great for quickly stopping a rogue application. Then it can be restarted at any time PM2 restart 7. And it'll be up and running. To completely stop it and remove it from the PM2, run PM2 delete 7. And that's it, it's all gone. If we want to give it a decent name when we start it, we can type in PM2 start and the directory it's in and give it a minus minus name and the name is F underscore weather. Now that's a decent name. It is also possible to reload an application. PM2 reload 5. Restarting a process will kill and restart as opposed to reloading which achieves a zero second downtime reload worth noting. One of the great features of PM2 is its startup. Restarting PM2 with the processes it manages when you have to IPL your box is critical. To solve this all we have to do is save a list of the application that PM2 knows about. A PM2 save will save its knowledge of all the applications it is managing. Then we run a PM2 startup as part of our IPL script all your applications will fall into life. Neat. PM2 does warn you if you add an applications and they're not in its startup script. Just run PM2 save at any time to remove this message. What I forgot to show you was the greeting you get the very first time you start PM2. How about that? Very impressive. Push my shell banner to shame. Try again Andy. And to round off, what we like about PM2 is it's multi-platform. So we can use it on the i, we can use it on Unix, we can use it on Windows, all very handy. We have used this utility for many years now and it has served us well. Take a look and see what it does. If you need any further details about open source or IBM i, check out all our videos at learning.formserve.com co.uk and the articles we have written for powerwire.eu I hope you find them useful and let us know if there are any other topics you want us to cover in this video we covered some significant features and benefits of IBM I we hope you found this video informative and helpful learn from our experts and boost your skills on IBM I visit our website today and sign up for our training courses or buy us a coffee to show your support for our creative work. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.